mom didn't raise me. My grandpa and Maggie raised me because my mom, they're always drinking. Eh? Even my parents, my grandparents, they're always drinking. And we, we miss a lot of school. Eh? That's why. That's why I don't know nothing. <laughs> don't say that, good doctor. <laughs> I'm dumb today, I said. Oh, no, no, you're smart. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I wish I didn't miss school, but they're drinking, they drank lots. You're with your parents, huh? Eh? No, not my mom. Maybe my dad once in a while, but never my mom, no. Uh, your dad? Once in a while, yeah. yeah. Where I was born, in a tent, I said. <laughs> I was born here in a tent. Because there's one pagos was our dad to teach somebody to take you. That old hospital. But it's not there anymore. They broke it down and they built another one. I don't know. I never went and see that doctor there. There's a doctor there. They said another doctor. All my kids, they're all grown up. My baby's 50 years old. Jeannie. I had four girls and two boys. I had three boys, but I lost one. He was scared to be it, to swing, and I, we put it in a swing. And then I, I guess Peter woke up five o'clock in the morning. Then he swung him. Then he, he was gone. He, he all his breath and his heart stopped. And plus, they, we used to tie the babies tight to their arms, if not to move. Because they used to wake themselves up. Now I'm by myself at, at, at the house. Right now they're fixing my house inside. We've been living there 52 years. Jeannie was going two years old. And she, she'll be 50, 51. No, they visit me. They, I don't know how come they don't come and visit me. They're, maybe they're scared of me. <laughs> I'm too mean. <laughs> 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 what did you do for work in your adult life? Yeah. Work? Mm. Push the lawn more outside. But we have electric heat now. Eh? Before we have to go in a bush because we live in a log house. Everybody live in a log house. Today people, they don't want to live in a log house. They want a good house. We used to all wood. My uncles, two of my uncles, we used to go and get wood, dry wood, and we saw them in a, to that way we take them close to the house. And we used snow for water, and my grandma used to strain it, and that's what we drink. And today people, they're so scared to even to wash dishes. They don't want to wash dishes if there's no water. Sally lives over there at the point by himself and he comes and get water at my house over there. I said to him, oh, what you're doing to your water? Three days time he comes and get water again. Well, I wash dishes. I said to him, get snow, I said. <laughs> get snow, melt that snow and wash your dishes there. Because the, under that snow, just like ice, eh? it's easy to melt. That's what we used to do, and wash board, to wash clothes, hang them outside. Today, they're so lazy. They gotta have a washer, dryer. They don't have to hang their clothes outside. They're easy today. They're lucky. I used to wash diapers with rags. Diapers. Today, these girls are lucky they're using pampers. They don't have to wash. <laughs> well, that's what I told my granddaughters. We used to ride in a wagon. We used to get those uh, Zavi Charter. Yeah, he had a wagon, eh? horses. We, he used to go someplace in, in our river, he went across. We're all in a... <laughs> and they, uh, we have to, after we get over in a bush, then they give us 
buckets to go and pick berries. So they got to sell them and to eat. <laughs> Pop cutting tour, that's where I went. I peel wood. To where did you go do that? Mentonas up the mountains. That's another hard job. Yeah, I used to put uh, Sharon, when I had Sharon, the first one, she was two years old. I did not, I was carrying Kenny. In the morning we have to get up. Peter used to make tea first, then we had lunch. Then we have to go in the bush. Then he will cut the uh, trees, spruce. I'll put Sharon to bed first. Then I will bring those logs for me to peel them. There used to be lots of us who go there in the bushman to turn us up the mountains. When a bear come and break, uh, shake our tent once, but that bear was sick, there was something wrong with it. Uh, Norman Delarone killed that bear. He was just wearing his shorts <laughs> early in the morning. That bear, he was sick when they skinned it. There, he had a foam between his eyes. Uh, they shot it, they killed it, Norman. Then after they burn it because that bear was sick. Peter was just yelling when he shaked the tent. <laughs> he just grabbed that thing. Was, they went right through uh, when he uh, dropped That must have been so scary. Yeah, yeah. And you're pregnant. Uh -huh. And that was Saturday. They went to town and the rest there, they stopped in Mentonas. They, they slept over there overnight because they went out drinking and we babysit those kids. And they're all grown up already. Those kids we used to keep. What about um, language? It's not all English. Yeah. Because we didn't talk to our kids at that. Even me, I'm, I'm guilty of not talking to my kids at that, my own kids. Because we, you're, yeah. you're too used to speaking English and they don't understand anyway. If you try to teach them, they'll say, what's that? Like, you know, they have to know English. So, 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 when I start staying at Mary Sanderson's Gifford, that's where I know how to talk English. I also talk uh, Tsuru. Even my uh, my uh, little kids, Nijan is a again. And it's not No, they didn't. And when it's not them, it's the other. But can you see that? You can understand, yeah. Yeah. How you get to work? Yeah. Can we get a see okay? Just get no schooling yet. I've been with you. How did you? What did you eat? All kinds of birds <laughs> there, but there's none now. Mud ants, divers, seagull eggs. <laughs> we we they used to go and get seagull eggs eh, across. Now there's hardly anybody. Just John Wayne goes eh, mm. and he feeds. Yeah. People, those seagull eggs, they're mm. good. But the kids don't really like them. Yeah. Uh, baby birds, I just eat them. Oh, yeah. They want to eat them. They want to eat Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. I keep ah. <laughs> <laughs> I just put salt in a small one, man. That's just a small one. <laughs> yeah, my dad used to just take up her organs. <laughs> Doreen, we was sleeping by the door and they those those well oh, uh, oh, those old people uh, Amelie Furlan and his her husband they just come and get the kids and they're sleeping on by the door and that bear came there. He went right around that bear around us every night. Finally they killed it. After we didn't go on Across we dig roots. Agnes Pronto was babysitting at home. We went and dig roots. That's the way we live. We, we used to always go in the feeder one and work all the time. We dig roots. Our bags. He used to check how much bag, how much I dig already. <laughs> That's and, Seneca roots. Huh? Yeah. Seneca roots. yeah. He knows if you're working harder. Yeah. <laughs> then he check us. Boy, same, 
saying, yeah, he said, I'll dig some more, old lady. I'll dig some more, go home like that. Then we went to home, Kenny, and we, I made fire tea, because it's still digging. He knew I beat him. My roots was 10 pounds already. <laughs> and him, see, it could have been the same 10 pounds each, eh? But he had 12 pounds. He had to stay long. Yeah, so he, he, that's he why he wanted to stay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got stuck in the island once. When that's the last time we went, we got stuck in the island storm. Uh, clouds are coming in. Eh? Oh, we went back and forth in a boat, in a boat, and on the ground, back and forth, oh, 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 nearly all night. And then in the morning, we, we got up in the morning. Oh, I went and see snakes. There's snakes there, there, but they took their skin off eh, already. And there's a big boat over there across already, red and white. That was George, George uh, Flit, Flit, George Flit, his boat. And Peter was waving his uh, uh, pillow. No, because waves, eh? They couldn't see it. In the afternoon, we we left. And when the come down, the wind come down. Eh? Then we came home. Where we got here in the evening. We we're coming home, but Peter was scared. The little waves are coming already. Eh? But what were you guys doing on the island? You were just camping. Or? Yeah, we camped there. It was getting dark. We gotta get. Get the hell out of there, there's a little island there. <laughs> We're lucky this island, a small island, eh? But there are snakes there in the summertime. Snakes can all overlay. His family was over there too. There's lots from Camperville to Jonas, uh, all those sharpened guys, and eh? they're digging over there. Now I bet you there's lots and for long that we didn't go. Even to fish, they're lazy. They're giving My up grandpa to used to trap. He used to go and stay in a, in a bush. But we're also losing the resources. Yeah. There's nothing, even berries today. There's no berries. There's no berries, no. not less. It's less. because of the climate change, I think. Kids, you say? doesn't matter how much you're going to talk to them, they don't listen to you. You'll, they'll swear at you, they'll say all kinds of stuff, and you don't even know, and they'll just leave. Long time ago, it didn't happen. Look at, we're still around here. I, I was bad, running away from school, that's why I'm dumb. <laughs> I used to go and steal little eggs in a bush, steal little eggs on the blackbirds. And I used to go and cook them in a the bush and eat them. <laughs> <laughs> the parents, that's their parents. They don't listen to their parents today. They'll, the parents, those kids, they'll swear at their parents. They'll say all kinds of stuff. Then they'll take off. A long time ago, we used to get a licking from the parents. It's not like that anymore.